This is a four-year-old defective laptop. It had a hard drive in it, 250 gig or so, and it was so corrupted that the computer would not boot up anymore. So I bought a docking station. That's the docking station over there. I've already removed the mechanical hard drive, put it in the docking station. The benefit of the docking station is we can recover the information, some of it, if not all of it, from the defective hard drive and transfer it onto an external hard drive. And that would be this down here. This is a thousand gig or one terabyte uh, external storage device. I've already installed the new solid state drive in this computer and in order to be able to fire it up with an operating system you need a thumb drive and that thumb drive has to have the operating system on it. So it's back together it should function, actually I know it functions, I've already started it up. There's no data on this but it is set up to go on the internet right away. Now check out the time that it takes to load this up. Granted there's no information on it, no data, no no files, no folders, no video, no music. It's just an operating system on a brand new solid state drive. So, we'll start it up. 1001, 1002, <laughs> 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Six seconds. And it's up and running. Now I'll turn this away for a moment and I'll tape something in. You have to touch it twice. And I will enter the password. And there it is. Unbelievably fast. I've got Firefox loaded on here. 1001, 1002, 1003. And there it is. Three seconds. Amazing how fast that's operating now. So again, to recap, it's a very simple installation. You take off a few screws on the bottom of the machine. You first take off the battery and unplug it, or unplug it, take off the battery. Remove the screws and you find the hard drive. There are plenty of YouTube videos. That's how I was able to do this. I don't have much experience, but YouTube videos helped walk me through this. And as you can see, there's an operating system on it. It fires up as quick as can be. My next video is going to show uh, transferring the data from the hard drive uh, possibly straight into the hard drive dry or the uh, the solid state memory the external memory again over there's a docking station that you use to recover corrupted data on the old hard drive it has to go somewhere it'll go onto this removable or this external hard drive or it might be able to you know, drop it into the recovered the re <laughs> the repaired laptop I hope you like this. Be sure to subscribe, please, if you do. And uh, I'll keep you posted on the next video when the data transfer begins.